Yes, but you must have the supporting fact, uh, supporting karma. If you don't have the supporting karma, then uh, there's no point in making a... So the most important actually is the supporting karma. So that means we can make an aspiration to be reborn as a human being again? Yeah, you can make, but whether it will succeed or not. Hmm? You don't want to go for holiday in the <laughs> Deva realm first. Well, at least this is the, the, the human, we are the minimum to get there. Like the Buddha, after becoming a monk with the Buddha Kasapa, then he went to, to Sita heaven and enjoyed a long time before he came down to struggle so hard. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Suttas, uh, the Buddha did not give very detailed uh, description of the meditation. I think probably for a good reason, because uh, if you give too detailed instructions, uh, like what is being given nowadays, uh, then uh, you know our mind is very cunning. We like to believe uh, that we already attain it. Uh, so, like some. Some uh, vipassana students, uh, they are supposed to see Namarupa arising and passing away. And very soon, uh, they believe that they can see Namarupa arising and passing away. And similarly, for those who practice Samatha, the teacher tells them they are supposed to see the light. And after a short while, uh, they believe that they see the light. So the Buddha never gave detailed instructions. The Buddha gave the basic instructions, uh, which is sufficient. The rest, uh, you will go and do the work. Uh. You can do the work and then based on your own experience and your own wisdom to guide you. Uh, it is not difficult. Uh. The difficult part uh, is whether you are willing to let go or not. When you let go, you go faster. Just like a ship, uh, if you carry a lot of goods on your ship, uh, how can you go like a speedboat? You must throw away all that extra load. Nah. Then only uh, your, 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 your boat uh, will go faster and faster. Nah. Mm. So like this prolonging the jhana and all that nah, is from constant abiding. Nah. The more you, you uh, abide in that jhana, nah, then the more you can uh, prolong it. Nah. It's not, it's, uh, I mean, it's not difficult to, to understand that. Nah. The more you abide in it, nah. And then the, 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 you're used to that state, no? and you can easily prolong. And the only thing is, uh, like the sutta about the hen no? making the wish no? for the chicks to hatch, no? have to do the work, no? to sit on the sit on the eggs, and then the chickens will hatch. No? So you keep doing the work, no? and then only that's the way to become uh, good at it. No? Right. Yeah, it doesn't mean that. But uh, sitting long uh, is helpful uh, if you want to uh, attain samadhi. Hmm. There's one uh, teacher from the uh, Himalayas, uh, uh, an organization, uh, one Swami. Uh, he tells his disciples uh, you have to sit a minimum of three hours uh, to get results. Uh. Because the longer we sit, nah, the, the, the mind tends to calm down. But of course, if you don't have the Kung Fu also, it's very difficult to sit long. Nah. So it's from constant practice, nah, and constant practice, and then the mind calms down. So a lot of conditions, nah, a lot of conditions nah, to, to succeed. Nah. So we have to guide ourselves nah, using our wisdom, as the Buddha says, nah, be a lamb unto yourselves. 
be a refuge to yourself, see no other as your refuge. Uh, and take the Dhamma as your lamp, take the Dhamma as your refuge, see no other refuge. Okay. Sitting posture is important in the sense that your spine uh, has got to be straight. Uh. But uh, like uh, whether you cross your leg or not is not important. Uh, and uh, not so important. Uh. Uh, if you sit straight, uh, there are some people, maybe uh, uh, their legs are a bit fat. Uh, and they have to sit on a chair. It's also okay. Uh, but as long as your spine is straight. Uh, if you sit on a chair, it's, it's best not to use one with a backrest. Uh. If it's a backrest, uh, you tend to uh, relax into it. No? Uh -huh. Actually, if a person attains good samadhi, yeah, the anger drops very suddenly. Yeah. If a person attains uh, assessed concentration, yeah. mm, even some of uh, our uh, Buddhist supporters have told me yeah, they practice, practice, uh, and then one day they suddenly the temper suddenly gone down, uh, the, the, the children also notice. Uh, mm. So it is uh, mentioned in the suttas uh, that this is excess concentration. When you attain excess concentration, uh, the mind lights up. Uh, the mind lights up and uh, the anger and the lust uh, goes down uh, very much. Uh, so that uh, people notice it uh, and you notice it also. Uh, it's not that you don't have temper, you still have anger, la, but uh, it's reduced very much. La. I notice uh, that uh, anger uh, is generally la, is connected with ego, la. and we have ego, uh, and then some but some things don't go our way, uh, then we get very angry. Uh, there's some like there's some uh, old ladies and all that. Uh, they, uh, they 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 don't have much ego, so then uh, they don't have much uh, anger or so. La. Mm. So well, in a way they are related. Na. So understanding the suttas is very important when we when we uh, read the suttas or listen to the suttas. Uh, then we have a better understanding. Na. Then uh, we know the danger of anger. We know the danger of the ego. Then we uh, learn to cut it. I have one supporter. He's a businessman. He has been listening to the Dhamma talks uh, and he has the wisdom uh, to understand much of it. He told me before he learned the, heard the suttas and all that, uh, he had a bad temper. Hmm. If somebody says something that he doesn't like, uh, immediately you flare up. But now after learning the Dhamma, he realizes uh, uh, it's not good for his ego. Uh. So immediately he uh, doesn't allow himself to get angry. So understanding uh, Dhamma is also very important, helpful. Just one point you mentioned that the progress in our meditation is related to letting go. Yeah, yeah. Letting go of what? <laughs> letting go of your attachments. La. <laughs> when you meditate na, and you find na, the mind is very difficult to calm down na, because a lot of thoughts. Na, Ah, you analyze the thoughts. What are those thoughts? Those are your attachment. Uh, those that you. Ah, those things that you worry about. You keep worrying about those things because you are very attached to those things. Mm -hmm. yeah, for me, sometimes, let's say I want to do the sewing of the cushion cover. 
it just keep coming, I need to do this, I need to do that, and the whole session was just sewing the machine cover. How do I put a stop to it? One B is do chanting. Chanting. Like Namu Dasa, Bhagavatu, Arahatu, Sama Sumbu Dasa, just keep chanting. Or Arahang, 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 Arahang. Something to occupy our mind. Just have something to occupy your mind and you won't wonder. No? As they say, uh, uh, idle mind is a devil's workshop. Mm. Because the mind just keeps chasing after the, the issue. This chanting uh, is a long Indian tradition. Mm. Like they like to chant mantras. Mm. But we, not necessary to chant mantras. Uh, we chant our uh, Namo Tassa, Arahang, or Buddha, Buddha, whatever you like, lah. or Namo Buddhaya, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Buddhaya, like that, lah, non-stop. Mm. Very helpful. Lah. The moment, uh, if you keep chanting, keep chanting, uh, your, your mind doesn't stray. Lah. But just now, I think he was mentioning sewing, doing sewing. No, that's sit down. The first thing is spend five minutes. No, he's not sitting down. He's trying to sew something uh, and all the thoughts. I was saying meditation, the thing keeps No, no doing doing meditation. Oh, doing meditation. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh. 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 Mm. Yeah, that's why I was thinking about the problem. Oh, I see. Refuse to let go of the problem, even though I tell myself, yes, mm. forget about it. After a while, it just come back again. <laughs> that is the chap chop, attachment. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's the attachment to mm. the problem, yes, it's not solved. Yeah. Different people, uh, character is different. Uh, there are some like you, the worrying type. Uh, uh, always worrying about. Things that they want, maybe should not worry about, and keep worrying about. Mm, habit, na, habit. Yeah, mm. Because the work is not finished, yeah. the problem is not solved, so the mind sort of like, just want to chase after the problem, find the solution. Until mm. the work is over, then mm. they can let go of it. But it also shows uh, actually that you are a very uh, responsible person, uh, and you have something, uh, you want to do it, uh, finish it, you want to do it well, and all this. Uh, there some people, uh, they uh, did an apartheid, uh, never bother, never worry. Because of this character, it is so you tend to pile on problems to yourself. Ah, yes, yes. yes. Uh, I think especially uh, we have uh, China genes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Today's uh, suttas we went through are not so much Dhamma. Mm. Sexual intercourse. Uh, it depends. Uh, firstly, if uh, he engages in sexual intercourse, uh, firstly he, he should be expelled. 
but he does it with the